Hello, I am Victoria Benjo, a biology major and junior at Trinity University. I'm sending this video to my mentors, professors, and others in the science fields and departments. And because if you were unaware, I went to the 2011 Woman of Color STEM Dial Conference at the Hilton Anatole in Dallas, Texas, this past weekend from November 4th, November 3rd through 5th. And I just wanted to share my experience because I truly believe that it's something that my other peers at Trinity, and not just peers, but professors too, could really gain a lot out of um, for the future. This was our first time, Trinity's first time going. It was me and two other students that went this time around. And it was, you know, new to the campus. We hadn't done it before. But after this experience, I am definitely an advocate for this conference. Um, it was targeted towards women that were minorities in the STEM fields, but Honestly, um, I mean, all ethnicities were there, male and female, and it was so great and so fulfilling and satisfying for me to see all these people of different backgrounds and of different um, different fields or different uh, areas in the science and STEM fields supporting each other and really commending each other's accomplishments instead of saying, you know, how can I get ahead of you or how can I, you know, get above you in the corporate world. And it was just great. Um, and these were really like Fortune 500 companies that were there. They weren't just, you know, ordinary people that were talking to us, giving the seminars. Um, I have a list of some of the people that were there. The representatives from AT&T, Northrop Grumman, Chrysler, Raytheon, Boeing, Walmart, the Coast Guard, NASA, IBM, Citgo, Chevron, uh, T-Mobile, Walmart. Oh, I said that. The list goes on, basically. Um, and there, the seminars that they had, there were student seminars and professional seminars. And I started to go to the student seminars, but I realized that, you know, Trinity does a good job, the career services and everything, preparing us uh, pretty much. So I went to the professional seminars, and I definitely got the most out of those. Um, I learned about, um, you know, like getting how to get mentors and I remember a specific seminar that I went to called Moving Your Cheese um, Organizational Politics and one man was a speaker he was a black man and he was talking about his experience um, you know starting off in the corporate world that he basically needed help he didn't know what he was doing so he went uh, and he sought help from someone who he's as he said quote unquote didn't look like him he approached a white man for help to you know learn I guess how to move about and how to advance in his business and he said that you know it, it's important for people to get out of their comfort zones and not be afraid to uh, seek help from other people instead of feeling like we have to do everything on our own and the power of collaboration he said that him and his mentor really became close and they supported each other and really helped each other in their business ventures and now his mentor is working for him and it was, I mean, it was just wonderful to see the, the power in the conference and people coming together and celebrating uh, the accomplishments and awards that uh, people have had. Um, examples of the people that were there, um, the clinical systems analyst, Simeon's Medical Solutions, electrical engineer at the Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command, uh, manager environmental technologies operations, Corning Incorporated, uh, senior corporate counsel for Safeway, uh, engineer for the Boeing Company, Senior Technical Director of Information Service Level Management and Enterprise, AT&T, Orion Program Systems, Engineering and Integration Team Department Manager. Um, I mean, basically, like people that actually have accomplishments that are worth writing home about. And uh, I, I also, from the some of the seminars, I was able to get professional points um, from Morgan State University, um, I mean, it's not required for anything that I'm doing, but that's also um, a good, I feel, experience or a good thing to have under my belt, I can say. And I, I really just learned a lot from the seminars. And the seminars were not just like, oh, networking 101, um, but they're really things that can develop students and professionals as people and in their businesses and in their, in their careers. Um, another... Another seminar that I went to um, talked about, I have notes here, um, a, a, a woman was asked, she, she's the founder and CEO of the Barthwell Group, which is a consulting firm, and she was asked, what do you think is the biggest setback 
for minority women that you encounter today? And she said, I mean, just being honest, it seems that there's kind of like a unspoken of or unwritten higher standard for women in general and also for minorities in general. And she said that she'd seen a lot of women that had encountered that and had become resentful of it. And instead of, um, instead of handling it in a proper way, maybe, you know, have anger from it or try to take revenge because of that. Um, but she suggested that, okay, acknowledge that it's there, that, you know, more is expected of women or more is expected of minorities, but to not be resentful of it, to, to see that challenge and to take it on and to do more than what is expected. And she gave some practical examples too. Um, we talked about things like golf and how business transactions can be made on the golf course, but not even just golf specifically, but finding that that connection um, in in your field, whether it's shopping or you know having lunch, uh, that thing that can really help us to connect with others on a personal level in our uh, businesses or future businesses. Um, talked about emotional intelligence, um, simple, uh, simple tips such as writing, you know, when printing business cards, uh, making lines on the back of them so one is able to make notes of, you know, where, where I met you, uh, you know, what, what, what importance you are. Because at the end of the day, you have a lot of business cards in your wallet and sometimes it's hard to remember, why do I have this card? Um, there were seminars on leadership styles and leadership styles not just for you know what type of person uh, you are as a leader but what type of people you're leading whether it's coaching um, you know let's talk the leader decides or directing where the, just simply the leader decides or supporting where let's talk but the team decides or delegating where, sim where simply the team decides um, there was a career fair and the career fair had some of the companies I mentioned earlier, Northrop Grumman, Chrysler, Raytheon, Boeing, AT&T, um, and there were on-spot interviews. And the field that I want to go in, I know it's very specific, it's podiatry and public health, so I really didn't expect to find anything concerning the career fair that would concern me in the career fair, but a lot of students were finding opportunities and were getting those interviews and really, you know, making those connections. And I, I mean, I, I, I can't speak enough on how how practical this conference was. It wasn't just something like, let's go to and make ourselves feel better. Or let's go to and everybody dress up and smile. But this was really professional. I've, I've been to conferences before, but I've never been to anything like this. And I, I, I really just want to share that because, I, I, I mean, I don't know how I didn't know about this before, but I sincerely think this is something that everyone can benefit from. It's not just for students there, professionals there too, all the people that I mentioned. Um, if anything, it seems like a professional conference and students are invited. And even if, if you have little ones, there's a separate um, K-12 through program, too, for students that are interested in STEM fields. Um, I mean, it, it was really just amazing. And honestly, I don't believe that it's just for STEM fields because uh, looking at everything that I took from the seminars, um, that's definitely not just applicable to STEM fields. But I believe that it was, you know, coined for... Or, said to be for STEM fields only because of the career fair. The career fair mostly had um, STEM fields available there. There were, um, there was an engineering section for, with post poster presentations where people that had engineering research were presenting. Um, there was even Zumba classes. There were student awards, professional awards. There uh, were, was a Southwest Airlines giveaway. So many different like free things and um, raffles and, and whatnot. And I mean, it's, re it's really just a very well-rounded conference. I, I can't name one thing that I, you know, that I wish was there. And this is, uh, this is speaking from only about a day's experience. I actually got there late on the first day, so I missed the first day seminars and was only able to go to one event on the first day. So everything that I'm saying, all this fascination is coming from basically just one day um, out of the conference. And it, it was just great. Um, they also gave us a, a magazine, Sarita Rao's the uh, technologist of the year 
um, I mean, if, if you want to know more about this, then, you know, please contact me. But I really just wanted to get this out there that in case this sounds like something that you would be interested in or something that, you know, you agree with that when it comes time next year, because I know I'm definitely going again next year, that, you know, it will already be on your radar and it will be easier to uh, to get, you know, publicize this around campus. Um, I, it was just very, very inspiring, especially for minority students, especially for students from low income backgrounds or um, it, it was just very inspiring to hear some of these women's stories. Uh, one one lady, she said, you know, when I was in sixth grade, nobody told me that women aren't supposed to be good in math. And now she's like a, a head engineer for Raytheon or, or something. And another lady, um, her parents only had a sixth grade education, both of them. And people were telling her, uh, you know, she was told that you're, you're not supposed to, you know, amount to anything. You're not supposed to get an education. And now she's a senior, the senior engineer in IBM. And uh, just so so many stories. Another woman, she said when she was younger, you know, she, she used to like to go drive up to the airport with her family and watch all the planes take off. Um, and now she's able to do the same thing, but she's controlling the takeoff of the planes because she's a CEO somewhere, you know, doing, I mean, these are just really great people doing great things. And I, I really believe that students at Trinity and professors at Trinity and you know even the little kids that you know maybe we know for the K-12 program I really believe that we can benefit from this so um, you know it, again if you have any questions uh, please let me know don't he uh, hesitate that if you see me stop me I won't know everybody that I won't know by face everybody that I'm sending this email to so you know I'm not ignoring you if I don't say hi or anything don't be afraid to like flag me down or shoot me an email um, I'm, I'm just very convinced of the power of this conference and I really believe that we can benefit from it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope that this was, you know, worth your listening to and um, I hope you will become an advocate for this conference when it comes time next year. Maybe I'll send this video out again. Um, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.